On Monday, the Expedition 33 crew aboard the International Space Station began its week with a light duty day. After the departure Sunday of the three Expedition 32 crew members, the Soyuz TMA-04M carrying Expedition 32 Commander uh, Gennady Padaka and Flight Engineers Joe Acaba and Sergey Revin landed safely in Kazakhstan on Sunday night. Expedition 32 officially ended when the trio undocked about four hours earlier from the Poisk module. On Monday, Flight Engineer Aki Hoshide opened the lab window shutter for the International Space Station Agriculture Camera, or Isaac, science payload. Isaac uh, takes frequent images in visible and infrared light of vegetated areas. Isaac is also used to study dynamic Earth processes around the world, such as melting glaciers, ecosystem responses to seasonal changes and human impacts, and rapid response monitoring of natural disasters. Also on Monday, Expedition 33 Commander Sunny Williams had performed maintenance on the advanced resistive exercise device. She had uh, deployed two environmental health system formaldehyde monitoring kits and relocated Soyuz emergency equipment. Then on Tuesday, it was another light duty day for the crew aboard the International Space Station. Nonetheless, the Expedition 33 crew focused on science and cargo craft activities. Working in the station's Columbus module, Commander Williams had checked out the Erasmus recording, recording a binocular, a video camera that will be used to take 3D images of the interior of the station. Williams also participated in a session with the Spaceflight Cognitive Assessment Tool for Windows, or WinSCAT. It's a test that uh, tracks changes in a crew member's cognitive abilities during a long-duration spaceflight. She had also conducted the reversible figures experiment shown here in this uh, this video downlink, which uh, tracks how the adaption of an astronaut's neurovestibular system to weightlessness, weightlessness may uh, alter their 3D visual perception. Also on Tuesday, Hoshide had photographed the racks inside the European Space Agency's automated transfer vehicle, ATV-3, which uh, delivered 7.2 tons of food, fuel, and supplies, and will depart the station on September 25th for a uh, destructive re-entry in Earth's atmosphere a day later. Hoshide and Williams teamed up in the afternoon to prepare for the arrival of another cargo craft, the SpaceX Dragon. The two astronauts reviewed the procedures for grappling Dragon with the station's robotic arm and berthing it to an uh, Earth-facing side of the station's Harmony node. And on the Russian side of the station, Malenchenko had uh, spent most of his morning on weekly housekeeping chores, cleaning ventilation screens, and inspecting the air conditioner. Later, Malenchenko had uh, checked on the identification experiment, which measures the loads on the space station structure during dynamic events such as dockings, reboost, spacewalks, and exercise sessions. On Wednesday, Expedition 33 Commander Sunny Williams was surprised by the family of Sally Ride when they uh, wished her a happy birthday from Mission Control Center. Williams and Hoshide got together to uh, review cargo and gear. They uh, will prepack in preparation for the arrival of the SpaceX Dragon cargo craft in October. The duo also reviewed Dragon rendezvous procedures. Williams had later checked the Harmony Node's centerline berthing camera system where the Dragon will be berthed when it arrives next month. And uh, Hoshide had answered questions about life in space from listeners on Nippon Radio. He earlier, he also had a uh, ham radio pass with students from Col Poland, and he uh, had worked throughout the station sampling air, replacing batteries, and cleaning the uh, bacteria filters. And on Wednesday, a space shuttle Endeavour, whose last mission was to the International Space Station, landed at Ellington Field in Houston atop a 747 shuttle carrier aircraft. Endeavour's final destination is uh, Los Angeles today, where it will be delivered to the California Science Center. And on Thursday, Commander Sunny Williams and Flight Engineers Aki Hushide and Yuri Malenchenko have participated in an emergency drill to sharpen the crew's response to uh, specific emergency cases. 
Williams and Hoshide also took part in a robotics training session to prepare for the rendezvous of the SpaceX Dragon cargo craft in October. Williams also performed some maintenance on the combustion integrated rack and updated software on the uh, COTS UHF communications unit and the Dragon crew command panel. Hoshide had a stowed cargo and took photographs inside the uh, European Space Agency's Automated Transfer Vehicle 3, known as Eduardo Omaldi. Again, this is scheduled to depart from the station next Tuesday on September 25th for a uh, destructive re-entry in Earth's atmosphere the following day. And then uh, Malenchiko had worked in the Russian segment of the station, monitoring its systems and performing a variety of housekeeping and maintenance duties. And today, Friday, Commander Sunny Williams is uh, working on the setup of the elaborate Imagine Televised Space 2, the Elite S2 experiment. She had reconfigured the medical laptop medium rate data link cable, gathered hardware for maintenance on the carbon dioxide removal assembly, had a uh, session of crew medical officer proficiency training, and also participated in a hand pass with Lafayette Middle School Lafayette and uh, transferred water into a uh, contingency water container of the water recovery system. Meanwhile today, Hoshide worked on installing the uh, Japanese experiment module, small satellite orbital deployer onto a multi-purpose experiment platform. Deployment of those satellites is scheduled for September 27th. He had also installed three alignment guides in combustion integrated rack attached the uh, message in a bottle two experiment to the multi-purpose experiment platform, gathered tools for ATV-3, again, Eduardo Omaldi, the European cargo craft that had arrived at the station back in March, hatch is closed scheduled for next Monday, and again, that departure is scheduled for Tuesday on September 25th. Each of the crew members will have uh, put in their daily two hours of exercise using the onboard gym equipment that includes a station bicycle, a treadmill, and an advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. The crew will then wrap the day with a final daily planning conference with the ground to begin their weekend aboard the International Space Station. The crew is then scheduled to go to bed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.